Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is your host, Tom Sire from On The Hot Podcast. Today, I have some bonus content for you guys. The bonus content we'll be covering today will be in the sport of basketball inside the NBA world. In today's bonus segment, I'll be sharing which NBA players I believe have had spectacular, great, under the radar seasons. So these are the following players that I do believe their hard work and their dedication to the craft of the sport of basketball in the NBA world has definitely went under the radar this NBA regular season. So starting off with the first player, I have uh, DeMontis uh, Sabonis. DeMontis Sabonis, the star player for the Sacramento Kings, is a very good player. He's a very underrated player who does not get the attention that he truly deserves being one of the best big men in the NBA today. Now, obviously, if you follow the NBA product, you know that Sabonis is one of the best big men in the NBA. But the fact that the Sacramento Kings aren't at the top of the food chain in the Western Conference this year, he's not his game and his underrated season really isn't really talked about as as much in the world of basketball today. So Bonus is nearly averaging a triple-double this season. He's averaging 19 points per game, leads the league in rebounds with 13 rebounds per game. He is averaging eight assists per game, shooting 60% from the field. He plays a similar way of Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic, the best big man in the NBA today, one of the best players in the NBA today. You can use Sabonis in a similar pick-and-roll game and use him in an offense in a similar role of the way how the Denver Nuggets use Nikola Jokic. Jokic. You can run the offense through him, the pick and roll game. You can run the pick and roll game through him. So Bonus does it all. And I think his underrated season definitely should be talked about way more by a lot of ESPN analysts, sports analysts out there, basketball gurus out there. But Sabonis, I know your game is not being under, your game is definitely being underrated this year. He's one of my underrated players this season. And then looking at the next player, it's Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier, point guard for the Miami Heat. And I'm honestly so glad as a Miami Heat fan that the Heat traded for Terry Rozier just a month or so ago. It was Terry Rozier to me was not getting the attention that he truly deserved out there in Charlotte with the Charlotte Hornets. I mean, look at the Charlotte Hornets. It, their record speaks for itself. And the reason why they're not on national television speaks for itself because they're a, a team that just finds themselves at the bottom of the barrel year in and year out. I mean... They didn't know how to use P.J. Washington, also who is also thriving in his new team with the Dallas Mavericks. But LaMelo Ball being the star player there with the Hornets, that's the only thing you really talk about in Charlotte. And I feel like Terry Rozier was being underutilized there in Charlotte. But before he was traded to the Miami Heat, Terry Rozier was averaging 24 points per game with the Charlotte Hornets. His offensive game has taken a dip with the Miami Heat, and that's expected when you play with guys like Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero on a nightly basis. But since joining the Miami Heat, he's still a good volume scorer. He scored, he's averaging 20 points per game, shooting 44% from the field. Come playoff time, I think he's going to be that perimeter scorer that Eric Spolster and the Miami Heat are going to be looking for to take the next step in the Eastern Conference. You can never count out the Miami Heat. They, they're in the race, in the dance, year in and year out. And no matter the season, I think this Miami Heat team is going to be okay come playoff time. Terry Rozier is definitely in that conversation as you underutilized players. And last but not least, I have Scotty Barnes. Now, Scotty Barnes has truly been uh, a player that the Raptors have truly appreciated over the last few seasons, but his season right now is definitely uh, has to be an underrated season. Definitely has to be in the conversation for one of, if not the most underrated uh season and all nba players this year he is not he made the all-star break this year he has the potential to win most improved player of the year this year he's in the race right now with tyrese maxi out there the uh, point guard for philadelphia but uh, scotty barnes making the all-star making his first all-star appearance definitely has to be talked about more truly has a chance to win the mo uh most improved player, like I just said, but he could be that cornerstone player for the Raptors that they're truly looking for. They they lost Fred Van Vliet for free agency. They lost OG Abinobi and Pascal Siakam due to trades over the last few months. But uh, pass, I mean, excuse me, Scotty Barnes, the former Rookie of the Year, is currently averaging 19 points per game, eight rebounds, currently shooting 47% from the field this year. So. With that being said, those are the players I do believe are having true underrated seasons that are flying under the NBA radar. That is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. This is your host, Thomas Tyree, signing off. And I'll see you guys on next week's episode.